Welcome to At The Cottage with me, Chef Dean. Thank you to Gypsy Wind Coaches, Culinary Tourism Alliance, keeping it local. On today's episode, we're gonna be grilling some vegetables on our Crown Verity barbecue, some different recipes, have some amazing guests, an amazing guest chef, and I'm gonna have some time to fish. Let's do this. You know, nothing since the cottage like a beautiful ice cold land shark. And I brought Kim from Land Shark here. But Kim, I'm gonna grab us a land shark first. Oh fantastic. We can't start the show without one. Jeff. Right? <laughs> There's nothing that says, you know, cottage life more than, you know, fins up. Open it up. And a social distance toast. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Our fins up, I should say. Mm -hmm. mm. That's as good as cold ever tasted. Land Shark, why is it such a popular beer, especially in the summer? Yeah, you know, so Land Shark, I, I think everyone out there uh, understands the Margaritaville brand, right? Mm -hmm. So Margaritaville has been around for years and years and years, and it's really, Land Shark is the beer of Margaritaville. So the whole thing stems from, it's built off escapism, this brand, I mean, it's about people who are active and enjoying friends and family and social engagement. I mean, it's really a party waiting to happen. I mean, parties are a little bit different right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've got to do the social distance thing, but we can still, you know, sit here and have a great time. And, uh, you know, here's, you know, a different way we can say hello these days. Yep. Land Shark, we're all about fins up. So, I mean, this is something that Jimmy Buffett came up with and it's yep. like, hey guys, when you see this, like, Land Shark, fins up. up. You know, <laughs> like it's, Land Shark is just this brand that's yep. built around fun and excitement and just having a great time with the people that you really care about. And that's what it's all about. Seriously, coming up to the cottage and, you know, yes, again, it's a totally different season, but we, again, we can do it from a distance and it's really fun. It's a great food beer as well. It's it is. And the, one of the things that, you know, Land Shark is really, again, because it is because of the, this brand, you know, comes out of, you know, about, it's about oceans and waterways. Well, we don't have oceans here in Canada, but we have over 250,000 freshwater um, properties in Ontario. So we've got just as much space to enjoy this type of brand. Like, it's, it hit, hits home for us. So I think it's time that I get cooking. I think, oh, are you kidding me? This beer goes great with summer fair. <laughs> a little bit of wings, a little bit of tuna, and away we go. I'm pumped. So Kim, I, I brought some food out that it's kind of fun and, and refreshing. You know, we're starting off with some sushi gray tuna and we're gonna oh grill that gosh. just a little bit. Then I have some wings because land shark and wings don't much, doesn't get much better than that. I, we'll talk about the sauce in a minute, but I just wanna lightly sear this. Just lightly sear this. Okay, I'm watching, I'm learning. Okay. On the barbecue it goes. Now, this is gonna take probably about two to three minutes, no, no longer. And I'm gonna keep the top of the lid of the barbecue or grill open because you don't want it too hot because it, it, tuna can cook like that, you know? So you don't want to get it away from you because you're gonna have beautiful medium rare tuna and then all of a sudden it's gonna go well done and dry and there's nothing worse than that. Well, there's probably lots more worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> agreed, agreed. And you're gonna see when it's, you know, we're getting the nice markings on it. Turn it over and it's gonna turn it up just a little bit. Look at that, while we're doing that. Well, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to marinate our wings. So I might have made this new pineapple Radler hot sauce. A little bit of smoked jalapenos in it. Actually, I'm taking the credit. My executive chef, Darnell, made this, and he's done such a great <laughs> job. He actually smokes the jalapenos. Uh, you know what? I like that Darnell guy. <laughs> it's great that you're gonna give him the credit. I'm gonna give Darnell. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix this in, and this is just a Ziploc bag. You know, we always have these. And the great thing about these, you can reuse them, rinse them out, you know, and away you go. So we're gonna let this sit now. If this was at home or we're at the cottage, I might even let this sit for about um, two to three hours. Marinate a exactly. little Exactly, and then that's gonna seep into the, the wings and it's gonna taste amazing. So, so and this pineapple, rat, like this uh, this spicy sauce that yeah. you've made, Chef, or you and, between you and Darnell, yeah. I mean, it's I have had this before, so it on wings is, I'm crazy excited. So then what I've done here in my pan is I made a little bit of Frank's hot sauce in butter. 
That's all you need. Frank's hot sauce on butter. It makes the perfect wing sauce. Oh, so we got a little bit of a mix. Right. We got two different wings. Oh. Yes. You know, because I'm sure we'll be feeding the masses as soon as they, you know, start smelling everything going exactly. on. Exactly. And then they start seeing the land shark signs all over the place. They will be here like there'll be no tomorrow. Okay, so me, you know, yep. I get that, you know, land shark and spicy food yep. pairs well. Like, but, you know, all this food that you're they're making today, like, are you able to tell me a little bit more about like how you how do you decide what pairs well with you know our land shark lager? Well, the land shark lager, the great thing about it is that it's that mild, straight beer that it's just it's not it's not too hoppy, but then it's not not there's no sorry there's it's still it's very sessionable with a bit of exactly, body right exactly. so yeah there's so a then, nice flavor right so then that way you can have something that has a little bit more heat to it it'll be fine okay and then you have a little bit more substance and flavor and smoke it's not going to be lost in that. And then, especially with the avocados, the richness of the avocado pairs beautifully with the beer. So, our tuna, I just gave it a quick flip. As you can see, we're just getting nice little grill marks on. And you can start seeing that the tuna is starting to cook through the outside just a little bit. If you can just see right okay, here. Okay, I got it. I am trying to learn this. Okay, so we're going to let this go for about two more minutes. I can give it another quarter turn. And it's just like if you're handling a steak or if you're handling a burger, you don't want to keep turning it over and over because any moisture that's in it, the more you turn it, the more you lose. That's a fantastic tip. I think I've turned my steaks one too many times <laughs> quite often. Right. So just, again, slow it down. Let it do the work. The barbecue's here to be your friend. And also, too, again, you know, I've mentioned this many, many times, is that you don't want to go super, super hot on it. You want to, you know, maybe um, medium high, so it's between 450 and 550, which gives you time to have another drink. Cheers. Thanks up. Thanks up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to let you forget that now. That's going to be like, it's going to be a thing from now on. I know, right? So our tuna's almost done. I just love being out here and the boats are going by, with paddleboarders going by. I think I saw George Croft paddleboard just a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, remind me, if that happens, I want to get a photo of that. <laughs> so now we're just going to uh, bring our tuna over. Again, it's perfectly medium rare. I'm just going to leave this here, show you this just so the camera can see this because this is what we're looking for. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, that is a beautiful piece of fish. And now, so now, what do you eat that with, Chef? We're going to like, be making you... this into a cucumber, tomato, um, and pepper salsa, and we're going to serve it with that. So it's almost, it's like the protein over a nice little salad. So, Brilliant. Oh, but first, we got to get our wings going. Oh yeah, I'm sal salivating a little bit about these wings. And now I'm putting them on the top burner, the top rack, because you put them on the, the, the lower rack, the sugars of all the sauces will start burning too quickly. What are you going to do with all that extra sauce at the bottom of that bag? Um, you know, we can maybe marinate some more wings because, you know, I'm sure somebody is going to come by in a little bit. I don't think you'll have any shortage of takers, that's for sure. <laughs> it's on while they're both still raw. Again, you know, up the top is the key. And again, because there's butter in this sauce, you want it to be a little bit um, up a little bit higher and keep the barbecue at medium. You're not going to have the flare ups. Sorry, Chef, how long did you say you cooked those wings for? These wings will probably, in real time, will take 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. You can grab a meat thermometer and, you know, as long as your, your chicken's 180 degrees, you are perfectly in the great zone. It feels like just about the right amount of time to have, like, a, you know, a swig or two of an like, ice cold dinner. Just um, saying. 100%. This is so great about being at the cottage is it's on your time, right? Yeah. You're not, you're not um, hurrying. You're not doing anything. Okay, so our wings are on. Our temperature's down. I know I said I was gonna use it, I lied. We're gonna close the, the grill for this. We're gonna turn it around in just a minute. As it just starts getting brown on each side, we're just gonna continue turning it over. And when we come back, you'll see that. 
So Kim, our wings are done. So remember we had the butter hot and we had the new pineapple rattler hot wings. So I'm gonna start taking them off. I can't wait, I'm so excited for these chefs. Oh, it. Chef Darnell, out of the blue. <laughs> that perfect. guy is fantastic, I gotta tell you. Hey, Chef, I do have a question for you. Yep. I'm looking out here and I go, I, where exactly are we? Glenn's place. Oh, of course we're at Glenn's place. I mean, who um, didn't know that? We're in Georgian Bay uh, by Honey Harbor. A good buddy of mine, Glenn and his wife, Catherine have uh, had this place on the island for a long time. There's a whole story behind it, but I'd be lying to you if I truly knew it. All I know is it's been here for a while. <laughs> okay. And okay. they keep inviting me back every summer to do an event with them. So, our wings. Oh my God, oh just my Just let those cool just for a second. Okay. Are you telling me don't touch? 100%. Okay, I got it. And then, you know, you're gonna have an ice cold land shark with this, and it's gonna be perfect. Okay, that wasn't working. Pull us together, Chef. Glenn, Glenn w warned me that the left side is the hot side of the barbecue. Um, well, this is Glenn's place, and he should know. Right? So we have our wings. Just give it one second. I know, here. I, I know. know, I know. I'm just going to quickly chop up our cucumber because we have our tuna here. We're just going to make a quick salad with this. Nothing. You're making quick salad and telling me not to touch these wings that are like, if I can smell them. It's well, incredible. You, know, you can you can have one now if you want, but if you burn yourself, young lady. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of um, radish. Oh, nice. And the radish is just going to give it that little bit of uh, spice to make it nice. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of rhyming, and then we got a little bit of spice in everything we're doing here right. tonight. Or a today. little bit of pepper. Chef, you make this look so effortless, because I know when I do this at home, trust me, it's not this fast. And we have a little bit of avocado in here. We're going to touch it with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Hey, did you see my, my bowl? My little, <laughs> ah, my shark bowl. Cause fins up. Fins up. I know, hey, it's gotta be a thing. Everybody's gotta be doing this fins up thing, I'm telling you. Okay. A little bit of lemon, lime juice. And lime juice, again, it's just like sunshine, just brightens any dish that you have. If something's kind of flat lining in its flavor, a little bit of citrus. Uh, you know what? You know, I like to actually say that. Like, drinking a land shark's like a little bit of, you know, fun and sunshine. Right. So then we're going to take a little bit of our tuna, cut it up. And it doesn't be, have to be anything fancy. We're at the cottage. This isn't, you know, French food. But it's fresh, amazing. It feels like a bit of a balance here. You got right? the wings and this like salad that looks incredibly healthy. It's just, you know, it's absolutely fantastic with the avocado. Are you ready to try a wing? I'm ready to try a wing. But first, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. It was so fantastic being here, as always. Mm. Ice cold. Okay. Okay, which one are we going first? I'm gonna go pineapple first. Okay. I'm going to pineapple too. How good is that? Just the right amount of spice. Mm -hmm. Right amount of spice. Mm. Just enough to eat a little bit of this. Mm. Check this out. Mm. Mm. Well, again, thank you, Chef. Thanks for coming on. It's absolutely fantastic wings. Simple recipes. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. On Rogers TV, we have a reality show like no other. It has a great cast of characters. Some you may have even helped land the role. Each episode has something different. Plans are devised, decisions are made, votes are cast, and money is spent. It's local reality TV that you won't want to miss. And it's exclusive to Rogers Cable customers. Catch your municipal council coverage on Rogers TV. Visit rogerstv.com for broadcast details. Do you have something to share? Let everyone know about your next meeting, your need for volunteers, or your fundraising event 
on the Rogers TV community billboard. Send us your words and we'll bring them to life on Rogers TV and RogersTV.com. When it's time to spread the word, go to RogersTV.com to add your announcement to the community billboard. Growing up, I just felt this hatred for myself and I stopped planning for the future because I didn't think I had one. Without United Way and the generosity of the whole organization, I don't even really know where I'd be. Greg, executive chef of Chef D TV Inc. And I'm here today with my guest, George Croft from, uh, from Waterloo Brewery. Nice to see you. Yeah, Darnell, thanks very much. Pleasure to be on. Uh, we are awaiting uh, Chef D's appearance. Um, however, he's out fishing for some fish to top our lovely salads with today. So we'll see if he shows up. If not, it's yeah. going to be a vegetarian meal today. Yeah, I can't believe it, really. I drove all this way, and uh, I was really looking forward to seeing Chef, but I can't believe he stood me up. It must be just... Uh, our relationship must be suffering. <laughs> <laughs> COVID times, tough anyway, times Darryl, for everybody. Darnell, it's really great to meet you. Thank you very really much. Great it's to a meet pleasure. You. It's a pleasure yeah. to be hanging out with you here at Georgian Bay. Um, so, listen, why don't you uh, get me started by telling me a little story about uh, Waterloo Dark, Waterloo Brewery's kind of signature flagship beer? Yeah, I'd be my pleasure. Look, I think today uh, this this session is perfect. I think the craft beer segment fits perfectly with a healthy choice. So. You know, all we make this beer with is water, yeast, barley, and malt. So no additives, no preservatives. And we're going to talk a little bit about our rattlers. Those are all made with real fruit juice. So I think this is a really interesting segment because you're going to make some healthy choices and we're going to, we're going to make them up with some healthy brews. Waterloo Dark is actually the original brand. So we, uh, when we started in 1984, uh, this was our original brew of Ontario's first craft brewery. And today we're lucky enough to sell about 8.7 million cans of Waterloo beer in the province of Ontario. Oh, is that it, eh? Only 8.7. <laughs> and everyone tastes fantastic. Every single one, every single one. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'll start, I'm gonna start mixing up uh, a really quick uh, potato and bacon salad with some potatoes that have already been grilled and smoked over, mm -hmm. uh, over a barbecue. And then as I do that, if you could just start telling me a little bit about some of our Rattlers and more some of our summer flavors. So. So like I said, these potatoes, uh, local Ontario potatoes that have just been smoked over a barbecue. We have some uh, Nutrifarms crispy bacon. We're just gonna add that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna mix that with a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're just gonna season it with a little bit of crushed garlic. Um, so why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, the lineup of Rattlers that we have in front of us? Yeah, that'll be my pleasure. Look, I think potato salad is you know, all, all about summertime and Rattlers really are you know, summertime beverages. And so uh, we started with uh, Grapefruit Rattler, again, made with real fruit juice and have been very successful. So we now have four uh, flavors in the Ontario market. We've got the uh, raspberry that's here today. And we also got pineapple and only available in our Waterloo retail store. We have uh, strawberry rhubarb and we're busy working on innovation for next year. And one of those uh, we are hopeful to be able to launch would be uh, tart cherry. So. Again, you know, potato salad, summertime beverages, rattlers are absolutely perfect and uh, low alcohol. So 2.5% alcohol and uh, perfect on these fantastic days that we have at the cottage here today. Uh, it's hot outside and we've been drinking for a while already. So it's nice to start with something uh, nice low percentage points and uh, uh, let the evening take us where it may. Eh? Well, I don't know if you've been drinking a lot, but I've, I've been trying to make sure I haven't been drinking a lot because I'm going to be on TV. So, well, I guess you're the professional of the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anyway, that potato salad uh, looks uh, fa absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so we're just gonna top it with a little bit of basil there. Actually, yep. we're just gonna get a little bit more basil right off the plants behind us because nothing says freshness quite like fresh herbs. And that would pair perfectly. I mean, honestly, that would pair perfectly with any of the rattlers depending upon you know, your chosen uh, fruit juice, really, in terms of what you like to, you know, what, what uh, flavor you find interesting. Of course, uh, you've hit, uh, hit the nail on the head a couple times when you talked about real fruit juices. Um, how long have you guys been doing the Rattler? And was that something that you guys made a commitment to doing right off the top? It is, it is. We, uh, we've been in the Rattler business probably for about four or five years. 
And uh, we are now the number one producer, domestic producer of uh, rattlers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are uh, the, the single largest producer of rattlers at the LCBO in the province of Ontario. So very successful. The history on rattlers is really, it was a summertime drink. Rattler in Germany means cyclist. And so what they would do is they would mix uh, uh, lemonade uh, when they were running out of beer so that the uh, cyclists could have a refreshing drink. And we think it's a perfect summertime uh, beverage. Again, part of it's just the healthy choice, part of it's just the low alcohol content. Absolutely. Uh, that, looks, that looks amazing. Yeah, so what we're working on here is uh, we're going to move on to our uh, grilled vegetables. So we have a wide variety of vegetables that were all picked up from some local farmers markets while uh, we've been on tour with uh, uh, filming uh, Chef D at the Cottage, mm -hmm. we've uh, had the luxury of stopping at some gorgeous farmers markets and picking up some amazing produce. So we have some grilled eggplant here. This has been marinated, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil. Same treatment as some zucchini. And then we found these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little baby onions. Um, all have just been charred uh, on the barbecue, really uh, condense all the flavors, bring out a lot of the sweetness. And then we have a little bit of uh, couscous, which has just been um, cooked. Uh, in a little bit of vegetable stock, brought up to a boil, add the couscous, give mm -hmm. it four or five seconds. Are you familiar with couscous? I am familiar with couscous, yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a fantastic vegetable. <laughs> I hope it's a vegetable. It's, uh, it's not a vegetable at all. It's no. actually a little tiny pasta. That's um, what I thought it was. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> uh, sort of to kind of uh, look almost like a grain. And uh, it holds flavors really, really well. And all of these flavors are just gonna soak up. Yeah, so, fantastic. I'm going to go for a recovery here. I'm, I'm going to go back to something that you said that I do think really is important for all of us as we, you know, recover from the uh, pandemic that we've been in. I think the, you know, buying local, supporting local um, is a really big idea. And so I congratulate you guys for uh, doing that. Uh, certainly, um, you know, I've been following along with terms of what Chef has been doing in our local market. And I just would say all of us need to do that. So congratulations for you guys taking the lead on the you know, local suppliers. Thank you very much. It's, it's, uh, it's something that's always been incredibly important uh, for both Shefty and myself. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's so important to know where the food comes from. And um, it's never been more important than in COVID times. Yeah, never more um, important. I would agree. To, uh, to be able to, to stop exporting things and support the local community because there's a lot of people hurting out there and there's yep. a lot of people that are, uh, you know, in dire need of a little bit of help. And if a little bit of help comes in the form of some amazing Ontario produce, that's a sacrifice we're just gonna have to make. Yeah, I think it's fantastic and I would applaud that. And I would encourage everybody to you know, consider that when you're making purchases for sure. Anyway, back to the salad. Back to the couscous salad. So we're- uh, And cou couscous is not a vegetable. Did you know that? I, I did know yeah, that. Yeah, I did yeah, know me that. Too. Thank you very much. Fun facts. Fun facts with George. So we have, uh, basically what we have is a little bit of a uh, grilled ratatouille vegetable salad here that we're mixing in. Um, lots of onion, eggplant, zucchini, and then just enough um, olive oil to, to kind of make it moist. Um, anytime you're seasoning something, particularly with salads, uh, you kind of want to build a vinaigrette. And the major, major points of vinaigrette is fat and acid. And that's it. So I'm adding just enough olive oil just to make a little, give it a little bit of a sheen. And then we're gonna pick the acid of our choice. And the number one acid of summertime is going to be lemons. Now, of course, we could add lime, we could add a little bit of grapefruit, we could add um, any kind of vinegars and stuff like that. But vinegars sometimes are a little bit um, heavier, more stodgy flavors. Mm -hmm. And that's more of a wintertime thing. And there's no winter happening back here. That looks fantastic. I grew up in Alberta, just so uh, we can get this couscous thing behind us. Mm -hmm. And uh, my family is third generation Black Angus uh, cattle producer. So if we were doing steaks, I would be all over the program. But I'm, I'm learning a lot, so I appreciate it. Hey, you know what? Well, we're going to start with some vegetables. But again, fingers crossed, Chef's going to come back and have some great big pickerel for us to uh, grow up. And uh, that'll be a perfect topping for us. I, I hope so. It was a long drive, so I, I really hope he, he produces something amazing. Well, he's also been gone like all day, so at this oh, point in time, man. the shame factor is going oh, up. Man. Right? You've been carrying the whole show. Oh, well, you know what? The guest is pretty cool, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I know what that's like at my place. I kind of do that where I work as well. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Finished it with a little bit of uh, fresh herbs, and again, that's going to be salad number two. Yeah, it looks fantastic. All right, salad number three. Here's another product. I'm going to take, go out in a limb and say you don't, don't, don't know. Don't, don't ask too much me any about. questions. It's embarrassing, really. All right, 
Quinoa, familiar, oh. yay or nay? Yes, I am familiar with quinoa. Right. Quinoa is another grain. It's gained a lot of popularity, um, kind of being a little bit of a superfood. But don't let the fact that it's a superfood get in your way. It's incredibly fibrous. It's high in a lot of nutrients and minerals. But it also is a really, really, really good base flavor to add a lot of other things from. So what we're going to add to the couscous here is we're going to add some pre-cooked lentils. These are green lentils that have just been pre-cooked in a little bit of water. And we're just going to add a few of them. Mm -hmm. Again, a little bit of nutrient base, a yep. little bit of protein yep. base. Also adds a really nice meatiness and a really nice texture. And then we're going to add some chickpeas, which are, this were just canned chickpeas that I rinsed off really, really well. We're going to add some of that. All right. And then our final uh, secret ingredient here is this gum, some chopped up uh, beans. They're purple, green, uh, and yellow. Um, beans are Everybody always cooks beans, mm -hmm. and I love cooked beans. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. For a salad purpose, though, the crunch, um, when you get them fresh from the farmer's market like these are, they have an unbelievable texture, and there's no need to, to mess around with that too much. Um, so I'm, we're actually just going to mix them in kind of as is, and the vinaigrette's just going to uh, kind of cut down and everything and make everything super tasty. Again, we're going to get some really good texture going in. Yeah, that looks amazing. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of garlic, what was roasted up on the grill. Mm -hmm. And when it's nice and roasted like that, you can actually just kind of squeeze mm -hmm. it out. And we'll just use a spoon to mash that through. And then again, we'll, we're going to add a little bit of lemon and a little bit of olive oil for the common theme of the episode. So tell me, what kind of summer activities are you enjoying with your Rattlers this summer? Uh, lots of golf, lots of golf. It feels like a real normal activity these days. You can get out and enjoy the sunshine, and we've had fantastic weather, as everybody knows, in Ontario. And uh, and again, you know, drinking a uh, ice cold Rattler while you're golfing is is uh, very refreshing. I've heard that your golf game is the stuff of legends from Chef D. Is that true? Uh, well, not as good as your salads, let's put it that way. But, all right, uh, all right, all right. It's getting a bit better. <laughs> all right, so that's going to be salad number three. Yep. George, I'm going to get you a little bit of couscous salad right here. Oh, fantastic. Can't wait. Oh, it looks delicious. That's enough. <laughs> hey, boys, how did the episode go? Oh, it's Chef oh, with the fish coming in. Chefy. Look at what you've got. The only thing I caught today was a grapefruit rattler. <laughs> That is a perfect day. Let me just, uh, I, I gotta try some of this. Quit talking to me. This is gonna be delicious. <laughs> Sorry, there's no protein. George, thanks so much for coming up. Oh man, my pleasure. This is, now this is delicious. Chefy, crack that beer. 